Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can use OBS to monitor our audio input, or basically do a mic check before we start recording, even with all of our filters applied. So if you haven't ever applied a filter in OBS, I do recommend you go ahead and try checking out some of the VST plugins like Reaper Filter. Um, if I click over here, basically the settings icon for the microphone, and go down to filters, as I just did really fast there, uh, you can see that there are some audio filters, some of which are built in, like uh, noise suppression or basic compress uh, compressor, but you can also use any VST audio plugin inside of OBS before you get the audio output. So what the Reaper filter does, and we'll just briefly cover this, is uh, you can use it as basically a compressor or to subtract some of your background noise. That's what I'm doing here with mode subtract. So a lot of those really quiet noises that still might show up in a microphone are removed from my final output, which gives me better sounding audio. And those are the kind of things that you really want to test with your actual output monitoring. So to do the audio output monitoring, we click on the settings icon for the mic slash auxiliary input. We go to advanced audio properties. And now over here, mic aux, you move over here to the right next to tracks, and it'll say audio monitoring. If we click on this and we choose either monitor output, mute output, or monitor output, it's going to let us actually hear the audio input with our, uh, basically our desktop output device. That's usually either your speakers or the headset you're wearing. So when I actually click there and enable it, I can hear it in my headphones. The only reason you're not hearing it is because in my recording I have desktop audio turned off. I don't want you guys to have to hear my voice twice at once, right? Um, but if you did this, uh, you would be hearing it twice. Uh, if you were recording with monitor and output mod, and you had desktop audio enabled, and you also had mic aux enabled, it would record your voice twice. That's why there's the second option, monitor only mute output, uh, so that you would only hear it once. I believe that mutes the microphone, but actually lets that audio go through to the desktop audio. Now, you would only be able to use the settings for microphone audio testing anyway, so when you're done testing, and it actually sounds good to you with those filters enabled, you should definitely go in here and set monitor off. Uh, so that's really all there is to it. Just got to check your audio before you start recording. And this is an easier way than recording a video and then checking the video after you're done to make sure that it didn't sound too bad, because sometimes you have to record the whole thing again if you didn't check first. So. That's basically all there is to audio monitoring, doing a mic check, and OBS before you get started recording your video. So I hope you found this video useful. I've been Chris, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.